Another big story we're following for you tonight, the celebration of life for legendary coach Pat Summit. Thousands of people packed UT's Thompson Bowling Arena to honor her. News Channel 5's John Quill Newland brings us the ceremony from Knoxville. On a basketball court that bears her name, the Summit, nearly 7,000 people gathered here at Thompson Bowling Arena to honor and celebrate the life of legendary Lady Vol coach Pat Summit. Among those who spoke were folks like Robin Roberts, Peyton Manning, and her son, Tyler Summit. She wouldn't just want us to remember her example. She would want us to go out and to follow it. So let's not just celebrate her legacy. Let's now carry it on. Let's find our own stool in our lives and let's strive to have a heart like Pat Summit's. Each person who spoke told stories and memories of their time with Coach Summit. There were a lot of laughs and, of course, there were tears. Former Lady Vol Shelley Sexton Collier and Tamika Ketchings recalled how their lives changed after meeting her and playing for the Lady Vols. Peyton Manning also spoke about Coach Summit and, through tears, recalled how she did not recognize him when he visited her in recent years. After her funeral, he recalled a conversation he had with former Lady Vol Shamika Holtzclaw. Shamika told me that even as Pat's memory continued to fade, if Pat saw one of my games or commercials on TV, she pointed at the screen and said, that's my friend. He comes to visit me. There goes my friend. Some of the speakers this evening, of course, recognized the Pat Summit Foundation and brought attention to the fight to end Alzheimer's. The ceremony ended with a performance by the Knoxville Pipes and Drums, and of course, they played Rocky Top. In Knoxville, I'm John Paul Newland, News Channel 5. Just beautiful. You can hear more from the ceremony on our website. And in Clarksville, new details unveiled today for a memorial honoring their hometown hero. Right now, the Pat Head Summit Park is just a paved walkway through the river walk. But the plans include a plaza and a bronze statue of the coach. Behind the statue will be plaques with information about Summit's life, local upbringing, and her groundbreaking career.